So Comet Neowise this evening and tomorrow morning. Yes, we can see a comet. It's kind of newly discovered. It'll be in the northwest sky right about an hour to an hour and a half after sunset, about 10 degrees above the horizon. As we go through the month, it'll get a little bit higher and higher. In the morning, it's uh, in the northeast sky just before sunrise. Now tonight, the best viewing will be in the evening. Tomorrow morning, there could be a few clouds in there, but we have until the end of the month to see it. It'll be closest on July 23rd, so perhaps That'll be the best viewing that we could have in about what is today. Uh, so in about a week to uh, about 13 days from now or about 10 days from now. Right now, 90 degrees outside southeast breeze at 15 miles an hour. This feels wonderful, especially with that relative humidity at 43%. So we have this nice breeze, cold front to the north. We're watching that. That'll bring us a chance of rain in northern Missouri tomorrow night and Wednesday. Tomorrow morning's dry at 74. It's a steamy start. 88 at noon, high temp tomorrow, 94 with evening chances. But again, those would be north of Kansas City. Clouds will increase tomorrow evening. Highs will range from 92 at Bethany to 96 at Harrisonville and Butler, 93 at Lawrence, 91 at Marshall, and 93 at Sedalia. Now, when we bring in the heat, the humidity, uh, direct sunlight, the wind, this is about how long you can spend outside tomorrow before you need to take a break. 45 minutes. Once we make it to the end of the week, 20 minutes is all you can go before you need to drink some water and get into some shade. So the heat stress is really going to increase later on this week. All right, here's the cold front tomorrow evening. Just a couple of scattered showers, thunderstorms tomorrow night. It's really Maryville to Bethany at first, and then it's Highway 36, maybe maybe Interstate 70. Some of these showers get down as far south as Interstate 70. If you live south of Interstate 70, just plan on watering and plan on being dry because I just don't think it's going to rain uh, south of I-70. And even if it does here in Kansas City, it's probably a tenth, quarter of an inch at most. But you can see we're talking about an inch, inch and a half real close to the Iowa border. Allergy report. We need the rain kind of squash some of the allergens out of the air. The mold spores are considered very high. So if you're sneezing, sniffling, watery eyes or something like that, scratchy throat like mine, it's the mold. 73 tonight, mostly clear. Tomorrow, 94, breezy, hot, and humid. It's a hot day tomorrow. 90 or 73 tomorrow night with isolated or scattered showers and thunderstorms into Wednesday morning. Otherwise, Wednesday's cooler. It's 86. Thursday up to 87. And then here you go, Glenn Fry. The heat is on. 96 Friday, 98 Saturday, 98 Sunday, 98 Monday. What a stretch of hot weather coming in here with overnight lows in the upper 70s, close to 80 degrees. Brad, this is a really hot stretch heading our way this weekend. Yeah, no kidding. A scorcher indeed.